Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM 1019 Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. The last story is upon us, let's get this started. We got a really long cutscene ahead of us first. Let's catch up on matters. What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait. Someone is coming. You. You haven't given up yet? Oh, it's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. this stop it right now or else I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance what do you mean you're pretty persistent for a hedgehog aren't you you're still alive <laughs> just huh? letting knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be what is this this is my grandfather's diary I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The colony, the colony was completely was shut down, down, probably to probably keep the prototype keep the from prototype falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The Ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the Ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I waited insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way, I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all based on my original projections. I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect. Pure. I will leave everything to him. If you wish, 
Release and awaken it. If to you the world. wish to fill the world with destruction. Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. Of course, the Eclipse Cat is now higher in the reactor than it's floating. This is because the Chaos Emperor is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter it pieces like my grandfather bring. That mad scientist! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony acquisition may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm. That's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the Master Emerald has the power to stop the Chaos Emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the Chaos Emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emerald is moving toward the Canyon Core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Okay, an awful lot to digest there. So, uh, Professor Gerald, who died, created Shadow as a result of, uh, of, uh, Maria dying, uh, being killed by the, by, uh, government, uh, when they tried to shut down the Space Colony Ark. Um, this is, what's happening right now is that the, uh, Ark is falling to Earth as part of a backup protocol. Uh, yada yada, this, that, and the third. Uh, the, there is energy traveling towards the core of the cannon before the cannon fires, I think. I mean, either way, it's still falling to Earth. And um, the only way to stop it is by making our way to the core of the cannon before the energy reaction can reach it, where the Master Emerald can be placed and neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. So, we need to make our way in to the core of the cannon, banding together, taking the shortcut that's available according to Dr. Eggman. So, we're going to make our way through here and utilize some of these time switches to get through here. Like that one. Perfect. And here's the door. We need to destroy this door to move forward. Excuse me, sir. Okay. That door's open. Eggman's turn. This room's actually a little tricky. I need to let that time switch uh, go again. I need to get on some of these blocks so that I can float over it. I need to let one come out from under the ground again. There we go. Get on top of this one because it's going up. the lasers. Well, I 
think I made it. Yep, I got caught by the camera. Whoopsie. Oh, come on. Whoa, hey, that's not fair. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to do that. Ugh, alright, that's fine. Do this again. I'm going to stand on this one because this one's going up. There we go. And here's the next door. All right, Rouge's turn. Rouge needs to climb up these pillars. switch and then dive down here and go through here through the waterfall wait for this to open there we go that switch that opens that we need to time stop again on our way back Whoop, I did that too early. Can't get past this block. Okay, another switch is right over here. Okay, use that. Oh, yikes. I need to be careful about the switch here. Try now. There we go. Okay. This button. And try the liquid. Okay, Knuckles' turn. Knuckles must dive down into this liquid and hit the time switch again. Go up through here. Break these boxes, go up. You hit this switch to open that laser gate. And then we do this again. Time switch. And then we look for the door that we just opened. There it is. And we swim towards it. Now we need to we need to time switch this again. So here's the time switch we're going to use here, and we need to make this really quick because this is a this is a, a pressure tunnel. So we need to get through here before the time switch runs out, or else it's going to throw us all the way back. Okay, close enough. We go down here. Shield. Another time switch is available right in the center here. Take a deep breath. Hey, there's Big over there. I never noticed him there before. All right, jump. Make his last time, get over here, hit this time switch. Moving. And we made it. All that's left now is to hit this button. That's the final door open. Now it's Sonic's turn. Make it over this way. Artificial Chaos opens this door. Hit this Artificial Chaos and backtrack. Specifically to open another locked door. Grab the rings. 
bounce bracelet to get over the things here. Time switch. Make it quick. And somersault in there. Alright, and then we can go down here. Go over the hump here and ride the liquid slide all the way down. And we get a couple of uh, of uh, Lost Colony, not Lost Colony, but um, Ancient Colony uh, vibes from Sonic Adventure 1 through going through this slide here. And that's it. Yes! Ugh. Barely made it. All right, so we got an E because I made quick work of that level. I didn't point press very hard. I didn't really want to. Um, but time for some more story. Ooh, I hate it when they leave me behind. Look, it's Shadow. I really got to stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I! Shadow, we need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things, some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow, I beg of you, please do it for me. Shrine of the Master Emerald. They probably designed the core like the shrine to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds. So now the truth comes out. The truth was that Maria really wanted, not revenge, but wanted the people of Earth to be happy. The Bio-Lizard has now shown itself, and Shadow is here to take it down. To, but to some of the best boss music ever, by the way. Gotta grind up on this rail. Hit the red light support device. Hut. 
We can avoid these uh, black energy ball attacks by jumping and somersaulting. Chasing us. Halfway done. Okay, he's going to start using these uh, energy ball attacks that we're going to have to use to get up. He won't let us use the rail anymore. That's one. Coming. He should immediately go to try to use that attack again. This time's a little different. Oh. Yep, I gotta be careful of that. Ooh, did it with no rings left. He is down. And next comes the coolest moment in all of gaming. Somehow that didn't stop the Bio Lizard. He must have used Chaos Control to fuse with the colony, but Sonic and Shadow have one idea left.
You know it. Super Sonic and Super Shadow. It's the final hazard. Time to take it down. Usually when I play this, I like to switch the Sonic for the last hit because I like I like his his taunt. But I don't know. I I might try not to do that. First few hits are are more or less free, but it gets harder. Boom! Oh, somehow I got hit by the laser. Okay. Go. Two hits left. Ugh. Those darn lasers. Wow, how'd it hit me from all the way over here? Ugh. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. That's how you switch, you just fly to the other side. There we go. Alright, last hit coming up. Ooh. Oh, come on. Darn energy ball. That was a straight shot, too. Eh. Come on, recover. No. Oh, these energy balls. Come on. Do I have enough rings? No, I'm gonna have to switch. Switch. Ooh, I just barely made that. Oh, I almost hit it. Come on. I don't remember this being this hard. I'm gonna have to switch again. Darn. Stop hitting me from that far away. Yeah, I definitely gotta switch now. Oh my lord, I ran out of rings. I don't believe that. That never happens to me on this fight. All right, let's take it down. I'm, oh, I'm really irritated about that. Are you serious? Get mad bullied right now. What? What is happening? There. Oh, my lord. 
with that laser. that barrier it's really difficult to get through yeah i'm where i i'm not where i need to be come on there we go Here's the final hit. When you usually beat it at Sonic, he says, uh, did you really think you had a chance? I didn't, I don't know. I, I enjoy that a little more. what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Shadow? Do you really think that the Professor created him, oh Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right. As a child, I looked up to my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished in his life. He was my hero, and I wanted to be a great scientist like him. But... Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't know, but what I do know is... We all did it together! What's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work for too little pay. Anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about right now. It'll all work out. <laughs> 
you'll see. If you say so. Create the ultimate life form. What's the matter, Sonic? Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let's go home. To the planet as cool and blue as me. That's it. To everyone's knowledge, Shadow didn't make it, but we all know that's not the truth. He's still there biding his time. At least we think. Oh, what a fantastic game. I think this was the last game that Yuji Naka produced before he left uh, left Sonic Team, and it, it kind of shows, like, in modern-day games. Because um, a lot of people argue that this after this was, was kind of like where the series started going downhill. But this was such a solid game back in its day, and it still holds up really well. Cutscenes maybe not so much, but the gameplay in a lot of ways, absolutely solid. Fantastic game. Uh, I will leave you with this epic music while the credits continue to roll. Tenth anniversary Sonic, a very solid anniversary game. A new day brings new adventure. But for now, rest easy, heroes. And that's it. Solid game. I still love it to this day. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. That's going to be another series. So uh, what would you think? Did you enjoy it? Leave us some comments. What would you, what else would you like to see me play? I want to start getting some, uh, some recommendations of games, and I'll take them into consideration. But let me know what you'd like to see me play. But until the next adventure, uh, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun and myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And until our next adventure, folks, I've been CDROM 1019. You have been you, and you have been awesome. Take care. Bye-bye.